They have a choice to make. Respect the opinion and thought of Iowans or for, forego your very rich tax breaks you're getting in this state. Hey, there it was. That was State Senator Jake Chapman last week introducing a bill that would take away tax breaks from social media companies if those companies were to censor or silence Iowans on their platforms. This is a threat to companies like Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and others. Chapman claims that banning people or blocking posts amounts to violating their right to free speech. President Trump is one of the most famous cases for this. He was banned from Twitter, accused of spreading misinformation, which many people said led to the January 6th riots at the U.S. Capitol. That is one really high profile example. But the fact is, this is happening to our neighbors. Janae Town brings us a special report tonight at 10 on Central Iowans who have been kicked off of social media. And I'm so curious, first of all, how you found these people, but Janae, the assumption is if you're right. not on social media, it's like you don't exist. So someone else had to post the question, why is so-and-so not able to tweet? So that's kind of if you go through a, a Twitter feed, you can sure. do the little hashtag and do the search, right? I'm a social media expert now, of course. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the joke is we, we understand that. Um, but that's how actually I was able to find someone who had their account suspended on Twitter. And what stories did they have to tell? I mean, it's it's so interesting how people find themselves in this position, right? Right, so they go to log on to their Twitter account and get this message that says, account suspended for violating the Twitter rules. So that's really the, the, the end of it, you know? And then of course it raises so many questions. What did I do? What did I say? How do I get my account back? And really those are hard to answer questions. Right, so let's go to those for violating the rules. Okay, how vague are the rules? Like how could, so vague, how could right. that be interpreted? And that is part of the problem, right? Because tech, big tech gets to make up their own rules. And then if you don't abide by the, these rules that are always changing, then you find yourself in this situation. So that is one of the big problems to begin with, that there's just not a lot of transparency. People don't know what it was that they said necessarily. Mm -hmm. So then they have to uh, just kind of be at a loss. And it, we're really all at the whim of big tech because we rely on it so much for everything, for our laughs, for our entertainment, and of course, now more than ever, our news. And once, you're, once they determine you're out, you're out. It, it's pretty tough to get back in. There are some ways that you can appeal those decisions, but really, yeah, this person that I talked to in my store tonight, had to wait the 30 days thinking, okay, after a 30 day suspension, I'll be able to get my account back. Uh, that 30 days has since passed and she's still waiting to get her Twitter account back. Wow, so what types of people are we talking about here? Obviously, this has been big in the news for politicians right. who are um, spreading what people accuse them of, of spreading misinformation. When we're talking about our friends and neighbors here in Des Moines, are, are these, high-profile high political operatives, or right. are these just like your average folks? Right, uh, the woman who has her Twitter account still suspended is a senior at Iowa State. Uh, she runs a local nonprofit, so wow. she's just, you know, your everyday average college student that relies on social media a lot. Uh, I talked to WHO radio host Jeff Angelo as well, who had some of his posts flagged for actually doing his job, saying some things that then Facebook didn't like, so they flagged his account. Uh, so yeah, you, we talked to uh, Representative Ashley Hinson, who's actually proposing something on the federal level to hold big tech mm -hmm. accountable. And she says dozens and dozens of constituents have reached out to her. So, you know, it's a broad spectrum of people, uh, not just liberals, not just people on the right, just really anyone that's finding themselves in this situation that they kind of don't know what to do. They call it yeah. uh, Twitter jail. Right, yeah, yeah, I love the, all these new terms that we keep right. having to come up with. Uh, the story airs tonight at 10, and uh, you've been working on this long before <laughs> Senator Chapman came up right. with this bill at the state house to punish these companies if they do this. Right, and I think that's really what we're going to see more and more is that for so long, free big tech has had this free reign, and now there are ways, and uh, not only on the state level, but also mm -hmm. on the federal level, where now we're trying to rein in big tech and say, you have to play by the rules, you have to tell us what the rules are, but then also there could be some penalties because Right. I mean, we have I guess you would say we have the numbers on our side 
we're, we're the users, right. and there's a <laughs> lot of us. Yeah, there, there are, uh, you know, six billion of us out there. Just a couple <laughs> of us, right? Janae Town, uh, with the story you do not want to miss, tonight on WHO 13 News at 10. Can't wait to see and, and hear these personal accounts from these folks. Yeah. We're back with more on the News at 4 right after this.